How's it going guys and welcome to Game Devolved, I'm Shifty Cow and in today's video we're going to be talking about some future vehicle balance that we may be seeing in Battlefield 4. So before we get into it, if you do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe as we do post Battlefield content daily. So hopping right into it, the spring patch for Battlefield 4 is just around the corner and although DICE hasn't released any official patch notes for this upcoming patch, they have given us a bit of information on what to expect. And one of the things that they've said they've addressed is basically how there's going to be combat between vehicles including the attack chopper, the little bird, transports, and of course things that lock on, stuff like that that infantry can use. So in terms of adjustments that we're actually guaranteed to see in this patch, there actually isn't too much to hold on to. There's a little bit of rumor going around that there's going to be an increase in mobility to most choppers, and I think this is going to be true because they've been playing around with this a lot on CTE, and that's going to be pretty interesting to see because right now as it sits, the attack chopper is pretty slow and it's pretty much just asking to take a nice swash shot to the face. So hopefully they do adjust this and change this up a little bit and they've also said since they're going to make some kind of change to the mobility and how everything performs in the sky they're also going to make a couple of changes to things like the SRA, maybe the stinger rpg i'm not really sure exactly what they're changing but hopefully they do reward the more skilled players because i really enjoy that type of balance where if you have a really skilled pilot he's not going to be taken out of the sky just because a couple of low levels are using a stinger or something like that so hopefully they reward the people who are actually using things that are harder to take people out with say the small rpg sra hopefully they keep those kind of well balanced because with some of the adjustments they were talking about with the sra i'm very scared because i don't want them to just completely make this thing useless because right now it's probably one of my favorite gadgets i really enjoy using it but this thing really does have a learning curve if you don't know how to use it you don't know what the travel speed is you're gonna have a pretty tough time shooting people down out of the sky but once you get the hang out of it and you start taking down choppers left and right it is an incredibly rewarding experience and i really like this type of dynamic probably one of my favorite examples of this is actually in a video we're going to be posting tomorrow so basically what happens is there is just an absolute beast pilot and attack chopper on siege of shanghai like this guy is amazing he was an absolute beast at flying it around he just ruined me over and over again when i was trying to pilot but anyways, I whip out the straw and first try, I get pretty lucky and also kind of have some really nice angles. I take him out first try and it is a buttery shot. So if you guys do want to see that, be sure you subscribe or just check back tomorrow because that's going to be a pretty awesome video. But anyways, the main message I'm trying to get across to you guys is basically if you're a skilled little bird pilot or a skilled jet pilot, you shouldn't have to worry about a couple of scrubs on the ground trying to take you out with the stinger. Really, all you should have to worry about is other pilots and then of course infantry who are highly skilled with an RPG, a SMA, or a SRA because if they have equal levels of skill, then it's going to be actually kind of a fair fight and it'll be somewhat interesting rather than just getting locked onto by a bunch of level sixes. Now really the only frustrating thing that would come from this is that if you're a very low level or kind of an inexperienced pilot and you want to get into little birds, it's going to be a lot harder for you because you have to worry a lot about people who are very skilled at taking you out and really you're going to be at a huge disadvantage. So essentially this is going to bring in a much bigger learning curve, but once you're able to get the hang of it, I think it'll be a much more fulfilling experience for everyone on the battlefield. Now keep in mind this is just my opinion, and I do think it's probably always going to be a little bit harder for people to try and fly around in a little bird, versus people who are trying to take it out of the sky, because most of the people who play Battlefield, I would say about 80%, primarily play as infantry people. So who is DICE going to try and accommodate more for? The people who are gunning the attack choppers, who are flying around in little birds, who are trying to get kills in jets, or the people who are playing as infantry who are really just tired of getting killed over and over again by this absolute beast pilot who's just been flying around in a little bird the whole round. Obviously, they're going to try and accommodate a little bit more to the people who are on the infantry side, so they're going to give them a bit of an advantage, including stingers, sraws, all that type of stuff, is really effective, and I think they do that for a reason. Now, I do think they really went over the top when it comes to Battlefield 4, because they did add an entirely new vehicle, the Mobile AA, pretty much solely to take out air vehicles. It's not quite as effective against jets, but you certainly can take out jets, but its primary purpose is to just shred helicopters, so it's going to be a lot harder for pilots to actually do well, simply because of this thing. And most of the time when I'm playing as a little bird or as in an attack chopper, I have the most fun on maps like Dawnbreaker or really just maps that don't have an AA. If they have a lot of cover, sometimes it works well, but for the most part, I'd really like to see these just out of the game or just not in the next Battlefield title because they tend to be just 
crazy overpowered, and if you have a couple tanks or an LEV, the gunners do insane amounts of damage to little birds, jets, all that type of stuff is really good for taking it out, so I don't think they need a vehicle exclusively to take out helicopters, but that's just my opinion. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. As always, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like down below, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as we do post daily. Go check out our Twitter, guys, and until next time, stay buttery.